Hi friends, it's Peggy from PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here today to show you some simple card bases. Sometimes you'll see in uh, tutorials or people will refer to start with a card base. And I thought I would just show you the different simple card bases that you can use, how you cut the paper, and how you use the what you've cut. So I generally start out with a piece of cardstock that's eight and a half inches by 11 inches. A simple piece of cardstock, any color, but today I'm gonna use Whisper White so that you can see real clearly. So there are two ways that you can cut the eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock to form a card base and that's B-A-S-E. And that would be the base of everything else you do on your card. You'll build up from that. So I'm gonna show you the two ways. And the first one is what I call portrait or you might also call it um, vertical. So you'll cut the lengthwise with the having having the um, having the piece of cardstock vertical. This is the eight and a half side side, and this is the eleven inch side. And what you're going to do is cut right down the middle at four, and that measurement is four and a quarter. But it's the exact center half of the eight and a half measurement, and you'll end up with two pieces of cardstock that will form a card base. And here are the two pieces that I cut out of that eight and a half by 11 piece. And we'll talk about what you can do with these pieces in a few minutes. But that is one way to cut your card stock, the vertical or, or uh, portrait way. Now the other way to cut your card stock is landscape or the horizontal way. And that's by having the 11 inch side up on the top and cutting right down the center of that piece, and that gives you a five and a half inch piece and a five and a half inch piece. So you again, you end up with two different um, card bases that you can use by cutting your eight and a half by 11 piece in half a different way. And that one, you end up with two pieces like this. Now, what I do, is I like to have a lot of card bases on hand. So I'll go through and cut quite a few in this way and quite a few in the portrait way. I'll, I'll cut maybe five pieces of Whisper White cardstock this way and maybe five pieces this way because that gives me a nice um, stock of card bases to choose from. When I get a brainstorm idea, I don't have to cut my card base. Okay, now let's see what you do with those card bases. Let's start first of all with the ones that are the four and a quarter width. So this is four and a quarter, and then this side is your 11 inch side. Now, the first thing I do is I score it at, I don't know if you can see that, it has a little score line on there, um, at uh, five and a half remembering that this is the side that is the 11 inch side so you would if we're going to use this to flip over we're going to need to score it in half at five and a half inches and so when I decide to create my card I fold it at the score line and I usually make my edges even let me see if I can do that just right and then I take my bone folder, my Stampin' Up! bone folder, and I um, burnish, it's called burnishing, which means that you just, I'm getting my glasses on here, that you just um, kind of press firmly on that, on that um, line to get it to fold nicely so that you can create your card. And here's my second one. I'm just gonna burnish that, um, that score line. So now I have two pieces two pieces of paper that have been made into card bases. So I have two card bases that flip up like this. Now I'm going to show you the types of cards that I make with this. I'm not gonna teach on how to make the cards, but just I'm just going to show you. So the first one I'm going to show you is um, a quilt card that I taught at my uh, classes here at my home earlier this month. 
And this is one that uses that same card base. This one is cut out of soft sea foam, and that's exactly the card base that we have here. And that makes a really nice card. And then I created this card, which is uh, from using the stamp set Incredible Like You, and it opens this way, but it uses that exact same card base that we just cut. So there are two ways that you can use that type of a card base, that cut, and they're both terrific. Now, let's look at the horizontal cut, which gave us two pieces like this. This was the 11 inch side, cut at five and a half, and this is your um, eight and a half inch side. So these I scored at four and a quarter, which is half of eight and a half. It took me a while to learn those measurements, but those are key because really, unless I'm making a very special folded card, which isn't too often, all of my cards are made with these two types of card bases. And so I just learned 11, eight and a half, half of eight and a half is four and a quarter, that's easy. Half of 11 is five and a half. And once you get that in your mind, you're totally set. So I've got it scored again at four and a quarter. I'm going to fold it in half to create my card. Like that. Using my bone folder, I'm going to burnish that score line. And the same with this one. Fold it over. And burnish my score line. Now if it doesn't come out perfect, you can, do, you can redo it. Sometimes I don't like the way it came out and I kind of adjust it a little bit. And I go back and just adjust it just a touch, hold it down firmly on this side and press. And that'll just press it right into the right place. It's very forgiving. Okay, so now we have our two um, more horizontal card bases. And here's what we can do with these. Now the traditional card that you normally see is this type of card, right? That's your traditional card. And here's a sample of a traditional card with that fold. And this time I've used um, our Daisy Delight stamp set. Nope, maybe I've used a brand new Daisy stamp set that's coming out in the new catalog starting June 4th. And this is a birch background stamp from the new catalog. But, they, but this card uses that same card base. It's cut in from a crumb cake cardstock. And that is that traditional card opening that you normally see. And I would say I probably use these more. I probably cut more of these to have on hand. And then the other way that you see that is turned on its side so that it opens this way. Okay, it's, same that, it's that same card base, but it's opening on a horizontal way. And on this one, I used our beautiful Lovely as a Tree stamp set that is retiring on June 3rd. And so I'm trying to get a lot of use out of it before it retires. Um, so those are your types of card bases. Again, using all of it using an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. Cut down the portrait way, the vertical way, or cut the horizontal way. I hope this helps you today and um, you get stocked up on these card bases because then you're ready to go and create anything. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you pop over to my blog at prettypapercards.com and see what I, ha what I post almost daily and um, learn more over there. So thank you so much for stopping by. Bye-bye.